Okay, so in this video we're going to be taking a look at transformers and we're going to look at them specifically looking at the number of turns we've got on them and the what happens to the potential difference when we change the number of turns. So we're going to start off by looking at a basic setup of a transformer. So on this left hand side what we've got is we have a AC power supply and it has to be AC for the reasons we'll talk about in a second. Um, that is connected to uh, some winding. So inside here, I've currently got this connected to 240 turns of wire. So that's a coil that's wrapped into 240 times. And those coils are wrapped around this gap here. And we'll see that in a second. So I've got that connected to a voltmeter. So this is measuring what we call the primary potential difference. So the potential difference are applying across the primary coils. On this other side, what we've got is our secondary circuit. So again, we've got some coils in here, and at the moment, this is connected to 240 turns. Again, those are wrapped around here, and that's connected to a voltmeter, so we can measure what the potential difference is on this side. And the thing to note is, on this side, this is in no way connected to any kind of circuit. So this, anything we measure here is gonna be purely something that we're inducing in this coil. So, let's put these two together. So essentially, what we've got on this left-hand side, if I move the camera across, on this left-hand side, we've got an electromagnet, because we've got a current flowing through here, which produces its own magnetic field. And because this is an AC supply, we're producing an alternating current in here. So the magnetic field around this coil is constantly changing. And that's how we can go about inducing a current in our other coil. We've got a changing magnetic field here, and that changing magnetic field is linking with this other coil, and that's how we can induce a current over here, or a potential difference over here. So let's actually see that in action. So let's put these right next to each other. So you can see our primary potential difference is 1.45, if we look at it on here. So let's lower the camera so we can make that a bit easier to see. So we've got a primary potential difference of 1.45, and let's put this secondary potential difference into shot as well. Oh, 0 0.02. Well, this is a pretty rubbish transformer because we've got 240 turns on either side, and apparently we're taking a potential difference of 1.45 and turning it into 0 0.02, which is pretty pat. Now, so because we are getting a potential difference over here, we can see some induction is happening. It's just very small. And the reason it's very small is the magnetic field on our primary coil is currently very, very weak. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a ferromagnetic material, in this case this is iron, and we're going to stick it into our electromagnet. So let's try that. Okay, so by putting a ferromagnetic or a soft iron into our primary core, we can see we've now got a bigger EMF appearing over here because we've got a stronger alternating magnetic field over here. Um, so what's happening at the moment is not that much of this field is actually cutting through our coil over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some more ferromagnetic soft iron and we're going to use that to make more of this magnetic field go through this coil over here. And you can see the effect of that is pretty dramatic. We've now got a large potential difference over here. Now what you may be able to hear, if I move closer you might hear it a bit more, this is currently vibrating quite a lot. So, and the reason for that is we've got an electromagnet here, which is turning on and off and reversing direction 50 times per second. So I'm just gonna add this clip. That should stop that happening there. So that, that's holding it and stopping it vibrating. So now if we look at our uh, primary and secondary, we can see they are very similar in values. So we've got a very strong changing magnetic field that's almost all cutting through our secondary core. So let's actually record some data. So what I'm gonna record in my table is I'm gonna record the number of turns on the primary side, the number of turns on the secondary side, and then what we're gonna record is the potential difference on the primary side and the potential difference on the secondary side. Those are both gonna be measured in volts. Number of turns doesn't have a unit because we're just counting. So let's create our table. 
So at the moment, we've got 240 turns on our primary side. We've got 240 turns on our secondary side. We've got primary current, uh, potential difference is 1.83. Secondary is 1.79. So you can see those two are pretty similar to one another. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the primary down to 120. And so just to show you that, so we've now connected it across just those uh, first 120 turns. So our, we've now got 120 on the primary side, 240 still on the secondary side. Uh, so we can see our primary potential difference is still pretty much the same thing. It's slightly lower, but whatever. On the secondary side though, we can see we've jumped up quite a lot. Uh, so we've got 3.97, which is approximately double the primary side. So you can see if we have double the turns, we get about double the potential difference. Let's do the opposite of that. So I'll put 240 back on this primary side, and we'll now put 120 on the secondary side. Over here. Okay. So if we do that, our primary potential difference is still pretty much the same. We're not really changing that, at least not significantly. Secondary, we've changed quite a lot, is now 0 0.70. So you can see that by having more turns on the primary side, we get a smaller potential difference on the secondary side. So um, in terms of this second line, so this is called a step up transformer. Because what we're doing is we're increasing the potential difference. This second one is what we call a step down transformer. Because we're stepping down the potential difference by stepping down the number of terms. This first one we don't call anything because it's not doing anything. So if we plug them both now into 120, what we'd expect to see, so let's do 120, 120. We've got 1.82. And we've got what, 1.76, so you can see they're pretty much the same again, because we've got the same number of terms on primary and secondary there. So that's a basic transformer circuit, and we've got our step up and our step down transformer. The up and down always refers to what's going on with the potential difference. And so what we'll learn about later on is actually we're changing the current as well, but the up or down just refers to what's going on with the turns and therefore what's going on with our potential difference. Um, so that's our circuit there. So this is our transformer, which is essentially made of, you've got your soft iron core running through the middle. We often refer to this as a C coil. We've got our primary and our secondary set of coils, and that's it. A transformer is a really simple device, but really useful in terms of making our transmission circuit more efficient.